shit. Black Wall Street, listen. This is that hustler music. Niggas hustling to me. Guns busting to me. You gon' make me kill something. Cap the full five and make me spill something. Look at the day. Man, this is that hustler music. Niggas hustling to me. Guns busting to me. You gon' make me spray something. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the Black Wall Street Hustler. I'm the general. Yes, that's me. Today's video is going to be about the Saturday Dime Drop. The Saturday Dime Drop. The topic of the day on how I turn $100 into $250,000 in the stock market. That's today's topic. First of all, let me get the disclaimer out. I do not promote drinking, nor do I promote smoking. But if you're going to do either two, I both of them do it with some good friends and do it socially. And you know what? Do it in what? You know it. Moderation. Moderation. Now, if you want to eat alcohol companies or cigar shops or cigar company want to promote my channel, hit me up. I'm willing to listen. Get your, get your product out there. Got another disclaimer. I'm not a professional. I am not licensed. But I did get my doctoral degree from Hard Knocks of Life. You're on our verse. All right, then. With that being said, I started this channel to bring awareness and financial literacy. I'm going to show you people how you can make passive income while you're sitting at home watching the Olympics, while you sleep, while you're on vacation, and most importantly, while you on your nine to five. You're letting your money work for you, not you working hard for your money. Like the t-shirt say, let your money work for you, not you work hard for your money. Let's get it out the market, baby. If you like what I'm doing on the channel, by all means, smash that like sign, up that subscribe sign, hit that share button. Share this with somebody that needs this information, that needs this information. And uh, if you don't know nobody, still pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. And also hit that bell notification so you'll be notified when I put out a video. And hey, let's get right into it. All right. How I turn $100 a month into $250K in the stock market. Moderation. I started this. Opened up a brokerage account when I was 22 years old. And the only reason I did it, you know, my job I was working for, they had somebody come there and talk to us about retirement and investing your money. You know, this about the stock market, this, this, and that. You know, you know, I'm 22 years old. I was like, man, I got about 30 more years ago. I ain't thinking about no retirement. I'm thinking, oh, you know what I'm saying? But I went on, opened up an account with them, just, you know, just for GP. I don't put like $50 a pay period. We got paid bi-weekly. I put it in there. So I did it and didn't touch it for seven years. You no, know, I, I, they put the, what all they do, they put your money in the index fund. It's one of their index funds. I think it gave you like five to seven cent return on your money annually. That's better than a saving account with a bank by a long shot. So, hey, you know, it came out of my check before taxes. They ain't even have to worry about it. I said, okay, well, hey, let it, I ain't even bothered. So that went on for about seven years. You know, I, my money was growing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know, doing a little something. I was like, okay, I see it. I see it. So I, um, I, 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 I juiced it up to $100 a pay period, you know. I saw I was going, getting a little growth out of it. I was checking my growth every, every year. And I, I said, okay, I'm up about $1,000 or $600, something like that. So I'm going to bump it up a little bit. So I was in I was in training one day, and uh, this white guy. Every time we went on break, he had his phone. And he kept playing with his phone. I was like, so I'm looking at him. You know, one day I was just standing beside him. Man, I said, you can't you you stay on that phone. He said, I'm just checking the stock market. I said, the stock market. He said, yeah yeah you know, I buy stocks and uh, I swing trade. That's what I do. I said, swing trade, what is that? So he explained to me. So every time we had a break, we talked about it. We talked about it. So I told him about it. I got, I'm in an index fund. And so he told me, it's okay. He said, uh, how long you been? I said, I've been in about seven years. He said, how much you got? And I told him, 
And I told him how much I'd made off of. He said, I can do that in, in less than uh two years if you if you do the way I tell you to do it. I said, huh? Yeah, I can do that and better in less than two years. So I said, okay. So we had changed them. So we started talking. So he got me in the swing trade. We swing trade when you buy stocks real low and hold them till they double, then you sell them. You know, saying you build your stock shares up, and they, you know, I say, double, you can either sell half of them and hold them till they go up some more, or sell it all, take profit, and, and go to the next one. I said, okay, okay, all right. You know, so he started giving me some tips. He showed no. In about a year and a half, what I had did in seven years, I, I had passed that. I said, so my count jumping now. So uh, I'm like, okay. So he taught me about diversifying your portfolio. He said, keep your money in the index fund, do these swing trades. Now buy some stocks. He said, I said, what you mean buy some stocks? He said, no, nah, I ain't talking about no stocks. The swing trade, I'm talking about good, strong companies that give you a good return off your the, the shares you get and they grow their year. So he told me, buy you some uh, Tesla, buy you some Amazon and uh, Apple. I said, okay, you know, I bought a few stocks here and there. You know, so I didn't, I said, okay, I'll do that. So I had, you know, I had opened up another brokerage account because the accountant with the other one, they didn't do that. So I did that and I said, hmm, my money's starting to grow, starting to look worth something. I said, okay, so I'm watching it grow now because I'm not touching moderation. So now, 10, 15 years down the road, I'm looking at this thing, I'm starting to smile. Wow. So I was in this golf turn one day, and uh, I was out of state, I forgot where it was. And I was sitting at the terminal, we play our little rounds, we go. I stayed in the hotel, I was sitting in the bar drinking, got talking to this guy. He buying rounds for everybody. I said, he must, you know, big money dude. He must own his own business. I asked him, man, what you do for a living? He said, he said I'm a, a day trader. I'm like, what the hell is a day trader? <laughs> so he, that's when he started teaching me about options. So I told him, oh, I'm mean, already in the stock market. I told him what I had going on. He said, well, he said, I'm a day trader. I make $10,000 a day. I said, huh? He said, yeah, I make $10,000 a day, five days a week. And I just sit at home every day. I don't have a job. I'm like, what? So that's who got me in the option plays. Now that's how you get your money back quick, quick, fast, in a hurry. And he, God must have had him put him there for me because around that time I had to go through something. And I'm just keeping it real, keeping it 100. I went through two divorces and I got had five kids. So that little 250K. Went down from 250 to about 100 and something, about 145. Just like the all them years. But that's neither here or there. So I was like, okay, how can I get my 100 back? And he was like, so he got me in the option place. And I've been, been rolling ever since. Man, if I'd have been in the option place back when I was 22 years old, I probably retired. I did retire when I was 48. I gave him 20. I gave him 25 years and I was 48. I was trying to go to 50, but they wouldn't let me make it. So I had to leave at 48. But if I'd have been doing this, I probably retired now about 15 years. i have been out of there if I knew about the option play. And so that's what I did. That's what I be. That's what my YouTube channel is all about. You know what I'm saying? I got this group out called the 99% Group. We try to make fifty to one hundred fifty dollars a day, and uh, we're doing pretty good over there. And I, I, I can't say this like I said, I'm keeping it one hundred. I do not get in all these plays. Some of these plays are like eleven hundred dollars to get in. I'm not going to put up eleven hundred dollars on a, you know, what I'm saying a chance. It ain't one hundred percent foolproof, but I got a good 90 percent winning rate. When we walk out of there, we're gonna have a plus sign. We're not gonna have a minus sign. I do, not, I do not mess with no trades that, that's risky, high, high, high risk. It got to be over 60% chance that it's, it's going to work before I can even put it out there to you all. So, like I say, I don't get in all the trades, but I, tell you, I give it to the group. And uh, 
So the group, I had a lot of people say, well, you know, I can't afford some of the, the plays you be calling. I said, okay, let me think about that. When I first started, I couldn't put a $50 pay period. And I bumped it up to 100 Then I bumped it up to 200 So I said, okay, let me get these some small plays, some medium plays, and some big plays. So I get a YouTube channel, the small plays. These plays are less than $100 to get in. You ain't going to make about, you know, 10 to $20 off of them. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, there's 10 to $20 that you don't have. Then I give the medium play. These plays, it's going to be probably around at $200 or less. You're going to make 50 60 uh, 80 or more off these plays. Then I'm going to give you these big plays. And these big plays, sometimes they range from $400 to get in to $1,100 to get in. You're going to get mad return off that. You're going to get at least two, dollars $300 off these plays. But you got to put up that money to risk it. You got to know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to lose. You got to know about this. The trailing stop loss. You got to know when to get in, when to get out. Because if you get greedy, you get got. I mean, here's some plays that I was in, and I was up $60 or $70. I, I go check on another play, and I flip back over. I'm down $20. Just that fast. So that's why you got to keep your eye on it. You see, by me being in the 99% group, I try to put out three plays. And I'm trying to run three plays and uh, so put the information out to you all. So sometimes some of them slip by. Well, you know, but that, that's where that, that trailer stop loss come in. I'm over here working another play that's running. This play done ran a little bit, but it ran out of steam, and I took my eye off of it. But if I put that trailer stop loss in, and it started to fall, it sells. It kicks in the sale. So I walk out there with a profit instead of walking out there with negative if I can't keep my eye on it. But what I should do is break it down to maybe one or two of them. That way I can watch them good. But, you know, I say you got people that's more advanced than others. And I, I want to get this out because it's money to be made out here. You know what I'm saying? Like the, my T-shirts I got made in different colors. Letting your money work for you, not you work hard for your money. That's what it's all about. Trying to get everybody out of living paycheck to paycheck. That one mercy, we got to pay that $1,000 deduct and guess what? Cell phone getting cut off, your lights getting di disconnected, cable getting cut off because you're behind because you had to pay that $1,000. You get over here, invest your money wisely. You ain't got to do the option play. If you just put money in the index funds or ETL and let it grow instead of just letting it sit in the saving account and the bank taking your money and making money off your money, you know, do that. Now, I ain't saying take all your money out of the bank now. But I'm saying keep some money in the bank when you need to get hand on some on some cash just real fast. But once you get to a certain amount, quit letting it build up in the bank. Take that money. And put it somewhere and get some interest off of it. At least seven percent off of it. Then you got you got stock market. You can make twenty to a hundred percent off your money. Then the option plays, you can make twenty or thirty percent a day off whatever you put in there. Well, hey, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. That's what it's all about over here. That's what I try to do on this channel. Oh, boy, I done messed the rotation of moderation. Behind moderation, one more to catch up. Moderation, <laughs> ah, but it's good. But that's what I do over here. Hey, come on aboard, join my YouTube channel, join the 99% group. If you don't know much about it. Look at my website, freedominvestorsllc.com. Set up a consultation with me, I only charge $40. You got me for the rest of my life. Any question you got, I answer. You know, so you can send me the question, I'm gonna get to you, and let you know how to do it. So you won't go in the stock market blind and lose, and you be like, I ain't never going over there no more. Don't do that. Because you got 18 year olds right now, millionaires, because of the stock market. And they never worked a day in their life. And then getting inherited from their, their parents. They just took a little money, invested, got in the stock market, and just watched it grow. Moderation. 
All right, that was Saturday down drop. Had to come on to give y'all that. It's the Black Wall Street Hustle and the General signing off. Hey.